This is a um, uh, this is an interesting uh, exchange between the uh, folks at uh, Fox and Friend and um, the St. Cloud Police Chief William Blair Anderson. This is following the stabbings that took place in a uh, mall in Minnesota. Uh, let's hear from this. Is this uh, as Donald Trump's on the phone? Oh, okay. All right, here it is. This is a, an interesting uh, effort by the uh, Fox and Friends folks. Donald Trump talking about, of course, he would like uh, extreme vetting going forward. Uh, I know there are close to 6,000 Somalis who live in the St. Cloud area. Uh, do you share his concern about who's coming into the country? Well, first of all, my job is, is public safety. Uh, it, it's not immigration policy. Uh, I can tell you that the vast majority of all of our citizens, no matter their ethnicity, are fine, hardworking people. Uh, and, Pause it. You know, now is not the... Is this guy suggesting that we shouldn't be extremely vetting all of our citizens if they are from an ethnicity that is from somewhere other than Europe? At the very least, he sounds like a regressive apologist. It's and someone who can't have the sort of honest conversations we need to have. He's leaving a huge vacuum. Go ahead. Hardworking people. Uh, and, you know, now is not the time for us to be divisive. Uh, we already have a very cohesive community, and I expect that uh, this will draw us even closer together. But at the end of the day, uh, our job is public safety, period. Chief, how do you work with the Somalian community there? Do you stay in touch with the imams? Because since 2007, more than 20 young Somali men have traveled from Minnesota to Somalia to join the terrorist group Al Shabaab. Minnesota leads the nation in the number of people who have left or sought to leave the country to go and fight terrorism or terrorists aligned with the Islamic State of Iraq and um, in Syria as well. How do you, so how do you fight this? Because it's a mentality that they're learning, many of them, behind closed doors. We actually work very well, uh, not just with our East African community, but, but all of our community. Uh, you know, we meet regularly uh, with any number of people, whether they are advocates for a uh, specific ethnicity uh, or a different cause. Uh, it's one of the things that makes St. Cloud a wonderful place uh, to live, and I, I know that might sound corny, but it's the truth. Uh, we have established and maintained a very good rapport uh, with our East African community and, and our community at large. Sounds like Fox and Friends want to extremely vet uh, that police officer. Man. What a cuck. They come back from break and they're just like, who's the producer who booked him? It's very dangerous when you book someone who actually does a real job. <laughs> 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 Can really step on the messaging. That's right. Couldn't we just get William Donahue in here and talk? <laughs> you uh. can get an unemployed private detective with three <laughs> restraining orders from ex-wives to say, as an example, he knows people who say 80% of Somalis are trying to poison the water wells and you're in business. Hey, folks, Sam Cedar here. I just got back from a uh, company-wide meeting. Accounting is really coming down on me hard. We need to get to 100,000 subscribers as soon as possible. So uh, please, enjoy this uh, channel. Subscribe. Right up. Right up. Down. Right down there.